Good morning. This is the last day of 2017, December the 31st, Sunday, reading from my utmost for his highest by Oswald and Biddy Chambers. Yesterday, Isaiah 52:12. The God of Israel will be your reward. Three subtopics. Security from yesterday for tomorrow and for today. Security from yesterday. God requireth that which is past. At the end of the year, we turn with eagerness to all that God has for the future, and yet anxiety is apt to arise from remembering the yesterdays. Our present enjoyment of God's grace is apt to be checked by the memory of yesterday's sins and blunders. But God is the God of our yesterdays, and he allows the memory of them in order to turn the past into a ministry of spiritual culture for the future. God reminds us of the past, lest we get into a shallow security in the present. Security for Tomorrow For the Lord will go before you. This is a gracious revelation that God will garrison where we have failed to. He will watch lest things trip us up again into like failure as they assuredly would do if he were not our rear guard. God's hand reaches back to the past and makes a clearing house for conscience. Security for today. For ye shall not go out with haste. As we go forth into the coming year, let it not be in the haste of impetuous, unremembering delight, nor with the flight of impulsive thoughtlessness, but with the patient power of knowing that the God of Israel will go before us. Our yesterdays present irreparable things to us. It is true that we have lost opportunities which will never return, but God can transform this destructive anxiety into a constructive thoughtfulness for the future. Let the past sleep, but let it sleep on the bosom of Christ. Leave the irreparable past in his hands and step out into the irresistible future with him. Grace greater than our sin. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt, Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured, There where the blood of the Lamb was spilled, Grace, grace, God's grace, Grace that will pardon and cleanse within, Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. Dark is the stain that we cannot hide. What can avail to wash it away? Look, there is flowing a crimson tide. Wider than snow you may be today. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, Grace that is greater than all our sin. Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace, freely bestowed on all who believe, you that are longing to see 
his face. Will you this moment his grace receive? Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, Grace that is greater than all our sin. Father, we thank you that you, the God of Israel, is our reward, that you provide us security from yesterday for tomorrow and for this moment today. We thank you that your grace is sufficient that you have brought us to the place of letting us see ourselves apart from you and of letting us see ourselves in Christ. Father, let us be in Christ, live in Christ, speak in Christ, sing in Christ, that your joy might be in us so that this world will know that Jesus is Lord and Savior and Deliverer and the source of abundant life. Father, we thank you for stopping us, for giving us pause, for telling us that rush is wrong every time, that you call us to have an untroubled heart, that you call us to wait, that we might worship and work in your kingdom, and for your glory, that we might finish the race well. Father, I thank you for my mother-in-law, Nancy Richards, that has finished the race well, that her champion Jesus himself has carried her to that place of seeing you face to face. And in his name we pray, amen.